Okay, Pete, a new range of rods from Free Spirit is always something to be excited about. I uh, don't think you bought any out for quite a while, is that right? We've had different sort of <laughs> things like the Spawn Rod and that have been additions to the E Class, but not a full range like this. No, okay, not for a so this, while. this is something special, and obviously, knowing you guys, you've put an awful lot of uh, time and effort into researching it and getting everything right. So tell me what's going on here. We've got a lot of rods. What's okay. going on? The range is called CTX. The reason for developing the range um, was because I, I definitely noticed at shows, doing all the shows around Europe, you'd have a certain amount of people that would walk past a free spirit stand, or it's too expensive for me. And so basically, we, we wanted to uh, develop a range that appealed to a broader audience. Okay, um, it's a bit like me <clears throat> driving past a flash Mercedes showroom. Yeah. I don't stop and sit in there in a nice <laughs> leather seat. So there's no point, you know. Right. Um, so yeah. To, but I suppose using that analogy, yes. Although you might want a C63 AMG, yeah. You, you still have you have the entry level A class and you work your way up. Exactly. You aspire to the top end. That was what we were trying to appeal to. You know, to most price points. So okay. The range was developed. Um, most of the free spirit rods, especially the high end rods have a 40 ton carbon in them, a uh, very high end, high quality carbon. Yep. Um, and this is a new manufacturing process. So there's a combination of 30 ton and 40 ton carbon into the blank um, and to add strength to it as well, there's a new process. Basically it's bi-axis carbon tape. So that the carbon is going at zero degrees, 45 degrees, uh, 45 degrees the other, other way and then back to zero. And basically that's okay. adding extra strength to the rod. Um, is that so, what gives you the, the unique look? Yeah, very, very <clears> unique <throat> look. All the free spirit rods, including this, it's a durable finish again, the same as the others. So basically that means that there's no lacquer or varnish on the rod. Right. Um, although it looks a little bit glossy, we've left it like that. It hasn't been laser ground. So, uh, sorry, it hasn't been laser ground. So basically what that means then is that however much chipping and that you put onto the rod, however much, you, you know, if you leave your rod set up and the lead's yeah. tapping on it, it's not breaking anything down. So it won't show nothing, wear and tear like no, a normal rod? Uh, okay. and, and, and that's really, really <clears> important because you notice, a, you know, on a lot of other rods, friends' rods and that, where the, the leads have been banging about, uh, they've taken chips off the rod and you can see when damp warnings that gets underneath all Absolutely. that varnish and lacquer and stuff like that. I mean, just to give you an indication of what that lacquer and varnish is for is to cover up all the imperfections of the blank. So it's right. basically like putting lino on a kitchen floor because yeah. it covers up all the concrete, right? Okay. So that's what that, that's what's happening in that process. And yet, so and yet you've done a good, uh, quite a clever trick because they look perfectly finished. Yes, yeah, yeah. it looks glossy and that, but yeah, <clears> no, it's, um, and also it's got a little bit of texture to it as well, where the, where the last bit of tape has been taken off. We've left that on there and not ground it down. And a lot of people actually had someone come up to us at the show and he said, um, I hope you don't think I've got like a funny, strange kind of fetish. You know, because I really <laughs> like the feel of your rods. <laughs> <laughs> when we were looking at it and looking at the design of it and everything and started playing about with the different samples, I really think this has kind of got a bit of an old school feel to it and a modern feel to it because it's got modern technology and into it. They're actually really, really light and really, really slim. Okay. Um, and, and very, very durable as well. Uh, Hutch's brief was breaking um, and he still hasn't broke a free spirit rod in any of the ranges and even down to this range um, and he really was, uh, I've seen the videos, oh, I have as well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was going crazy with them so that yeah. was the brief. My brief was to go out and fish with them yeah. um, so I, I had um, a three and a quarter 40 mil uh, and, and it was quite strange because I had um, two e ESs on there which are a 280 quid rod and then and then the uh, CTX three and a quarter on there and caught two or three fish during a day and I completely forgot I had the rod. Right. So it was like sometimes when I've used cheaper You can feel it, they might be tip heavy. Yeah, yeah. And, <clears> but <throat> I just completely forgot that I had it there. So what's in the range, Pete? It looks pretty comprehensive. Yeah, this isn't all of it. Um there will be nine and ten foot stalking sort of boat rods, um right away from two and a half, twelve foot, all the way through to 13 foot SUs and SU stands for stepped up for ultimate casting. Hutch has been sticking these over 200 yards. Right. So for again for the price point. But, but, you know. So what's the, so you if you've got a two and three quarter on uh, a 12 yeah. foot? Yeah, there's so a two, and a, half, lower, two no, and a half. Two and a half. Two and a half, then a two and three quarter, three and a quarter, three and a half, and then okay. a three and a half SU. Right. There's okay. even uh, 12 <clears throat> foot, 12 foot six and 13 foot models. As Lovely. Well. I've, I've always fancied the 12 foot six myself. I've used that length in the past. Uh, and get a lot out of that. Um, I notice you've got different uh, rings on as well. What's what's the thinking behind there? Um, well you've got the 40 <clears throat> and 50 mil. Different people like different things. I mm -hmm. mean, personally, that in the say in the three and a quarter, it's such a diverse range. In the three and a quarter, 12 foot, 
there's a tw there's a 40 mil one and a 50 mil version as well. Right. The 50 okay. mil people, people. It, they're very fashionable 50s, aren't they? They're but. very popular, and actually the three and a quarter and a th uh, three and a half have been the biggest sellers in the 50 mil. But personally, I think that the three and a quarter 40 mil is yeah. a better balanced rod. You yeah. Know? Which but is what I think, use. You know, people <laughs> think that they're getting a, they're getting more for their money, which they are in a way, but also um, that they can cast further. But a lot of my fishing. You know, 70 or 80 yards maximum. It's just a lovely balance to the rod. Okay. Uh, what about the uh, the difference in the reel seats you've got here? Okay. Uh, <coughs> this rod on the far end is um, the SPM in the range. Uh, basically, that means Spom and Marker. Right. So uh, in the E class, the Spom rod has been really, really popular, and we have different markers and spot rods in that range. So we thought about trying to build a rod that encompassed everything. Again, at that price point, and, and I do with my spom rod that I've got in my from my E class range, I use it for marking, spomming, that's what I do. Leading about, your rod I just as well. have one rod, absolutely, you know, and yeah. it's got the uh, markers on it, so it's got the one foot marker, the two foot marker on there, very nice. Um, and it's actually based on a similar action to the to the spom rod, where it's quite stiff for about three quarters of the rod, and then it's got a really soft tip, you know, okay. and that really accelerates things over really fast. It's an action that's really coming into the free spirit range now that people seem to be really happy with you know okay really Very easy nice. work on sometimes like heavy objects like a loaded spawn you know so anyone who wants a range of stuff that, that that matches from you know they can have a stalking rod that matches their marker rod that matches their set of three yeah what about landing nets? yeah landing nets coming out full cork ranges coming out lovely uh, like, as i mentioned the nine this and is all ten under foot, the ctx all under ctx <clears throat> there's even into the specialist range so there's barbel and specialist rods in the range as well some of the people um like say sean harrison <clears throat> that's in the team has been in the team for 17 years now it's strange again coming in at this price point he thinks that the new CTX barbel rod is the best barbel rod that we've made. And okay. there's like, you know, high S ones that are three or four hundred pounds. And he's saying that these ones are better, a better action and better for fishing with you. Well, know, so. the, the thing is, Pete, I mean, you, I mean, you obviously the, the, the quality is oozing out of these rods. They look superb. You keep mentioning price point. I know they're aimed at sort of the mass market. Um, you know, you're going to sell a lot of these rods, but there's no way that you can get all of these features into an affordable price. I mean, what are you going to put them out at? So the main cart rods are 12 <coughs> foot cart rods, start at 